Okay. Have you ever eaten a bug? Do you want to eat a bug? (laughs) (laughs) I dare you to eat a bug. Back to Mixed In. On this episode, this is um, uh, from a site uh, called Girl Meets Bugs. And uh, uh, so it's like the, 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 the subject is, why eat bugs anyways? So it says, despite the fact that 80% of the world world's cultures eat insects, that's right, the U.S. is in the minority here, most people and other culture consider insects simply to be pests. But... But when you consider the logic of bugs as food, from an ecological, financial, and global perspective, they start to seem a lot more palatable. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so insects, uh, the true eco-protein. Uh, uh, a United Nations report found that the livestock industry is responsible for generating more greenhouse gas emissions than transport. That means the burgers, chicken, and pork we are eating are technically worse for the environment than our cars. Insects require such fewer uh, resources in terms of food, water, and land space that, as David Graser of Small Stock Foods puts it, cows and pigs are the SUVs of the food world and bugs are the Priuses, (laughs) maybe even bicycles. (laughs) Oh. Maybe even like legs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe legs. You know why though, right? <laughs> why is that? Because we eat so many hamburgers oh, that's true. <laughs> in the United States that it's it's ridiculous to keep these cows, you know. Fun. And back in the day, I had no idea why cows put out so much emission. You know why? Why? Because they fart. <laughs> and their poop. Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Their poop puts out. There's so many of them, and they're pooping so much that they're polluting our oxygen in our airs and stuff. Well, you know That's what? We, that, I think they're going to mention that on here. So we oh, have, they, we sorry, have, I'm getting ahead of it. Well, we have 10, uh, <clears throat> the top 10 reasons to eat insects here. Okay. Right, you so, number 10? So, yeah, okay. The top 10 reasons to eat insects. I haven't read this yet, so I might screw up a little bit. <clears throat> this is reading time with, with the lamb. <laughs> Everybody loves reading time with William. Number 10. Okay. Uh, Most edible insect species are highly nutritional. Nutritious. Nutritious. Yeah. Nutritionist. No, nutritious. Did I get it right? (laughs) Nutritious. So I I knew that because a lot of bugs, they have a lot of protein. I've seen this from like uh, survival shows. Yeah. You you go for the bugs. It might be little yellow squaly things and whatnot, but there's a lot of protein in them. Yep. Stay alive. I just wouldn't want to eat spiders. Uh, so number nine is yeah, you do, right? it, it is it is up to twenty times more efficient to raise insect protein than beef. Uh, that's per pound. Uh, this is mainly because bugs don't waste food energy on uh, things like raising their body temperature or making um, bones, fur, and feathers and uh, other stuff like that. Okay, okay. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Number eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn it. I thought I got away without reading anymore. Okay, also it takes less water to raise insects. Much, much less. Up to 1,000 times less. Whoa. 1,000 times less water to raise insects. But you gotta think what you're going from here. From here. You're going from, what do we think of, like larvae or maybe uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, roaches or something, to a full grown cow. Yeah. <laughs> or pig. Or, or a pig. It, pigs. Oh my, I know they eat a lot. So number seven, you are probably already doing it as the FDA allows a certain amount of insect matter uh, to be present (laughs) in most commercial foods. Uh, uh, An average of 150 or more insect fragments fragments are allowed per 100 grams of wheat flour, for instance. That's a lot of bugs. (laughs) God. But it's fine. It's fine, though. We don't know it. It's almost the law not to eat bugs in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are we at? Number six? Yep. Uh, most cultures in the world not only eat insects, but in many cases find them to be delicacies. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't. I've heard but, that before. 
And I know they, 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 they not not like you know, hey, there's an ant or uh, no, no, we're talking like a big bug. like a well, we're talking about a bug you never even seen before. This yeah. thing has 15 legs and five eyeballs, <laughs> and it has a name too. That's the weird part about it. Okay, so if insects themselves were deemed a food crop, imagine how much we could cut down on pesticide use, mm. <laughs> uh, and and uh, is associated environmental damage. So wow. Uh, yeah, that would make a unless lot of sense. they are a uh, organic farm. Mm-hmm. But when you buy organic, you you're spending like twice the amount of money. Yeah, because of the fact that they're not using pesticides and they get less crops. I guess I don't. Know. Anyways, uh, what number was that? Four. 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 Okay, many insects are taste are tasty. Mm-hmm. Really? Hmm. Huh? Some larvae taste like bacon. What? <laughs> really? What? <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like bacon? <laughs> really, who who doesn't like bacon? I mean, many animal I like rights bacon. activists often won't get up uh, in arms over eating bugs as they are already <laughs> <laughs> exterminated on a daily basis. The bugs are not the activists. That's true. So, I'm yeah. sure there are people out there that uh, that you know are bug activists. Like, you know, don't step on that cockroach, yeah. or you know, don't. Mm, Burn that ant with it. Okay, insects may be the food for the future. Uh, as scientists are researching their potential as a space food crop. Oh. Bugs in space. Big deal. No. <laughs> I need oh. meat. And then it says, I like and, and the number one reason to eat... Oh, that's for... Yeah. Okay, so, and the number one reason to eat insects is... Oof! Drum roll. Well, I got one on that. So, insects are a great inexpensive green source of protein desperately needed by starving peoples if we can help create a market and finding and funding for it uh, there is the potential to help spread nourishment throughout the planet yeah I can see that okay William let's uh I have something here man what the hell is this <laughs> you know so it tricked me so this did box. you know about this? So this you box, knew about this. we have a box of crickets. What? And in this box, we have a box of, this may taste like bacon, uh, some larvae What is or this mealworms. Crap? And in this box, we have two cookies that are made with ants. I'm done. <laughs> Show's over. Thank you for watching. No. Let's see what we can do. Here, which one do you want to try? No, you for try one, no, for one thing, you feed these to your fish. <laughs> no. I've had fish I fed these things to. I know that. <laughs> Oh, it's barbecue. Never mind. I'll try it. Yeah. Let's try some barbecued Dear larvae. Lord, these are mealworms or something. That's why, because these things are expensive. You know how many yeah. steaks I can buy with that kind of money? So we got some little crickets Probably here. half a steak, but... Okay. So we'll try some, one of each. Yeah. I should have washed my hands. <laughs> I got dirt all over my got hands. Some, we got some cookies here. Okay. So we'll try this one first. The uh, uh, larvettes. Yeah. Original worm snack. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so these aren't actual, like, these are probably processed in some form of way. They're just baked. They're baked? Yeah. Okay. No wonder why you wouldn't let me have... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to eat... <laughs> um, some salted uh, peanuts? Yeah, some salted peanuts for the show. It's like, yeah, these salted peanuts. No, don't want it for this, because you're going to be grossed out by the by the fact that we're talking about bugs. <laughs> there we go, that should be enough. There you go. You're eating this crap with us. <laughs> because well, you didn't tell me about it. So right. you're eating it with so, us. So 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 you, right. you want to get close up with this? So you, know, you put a couple in, in yeah. there. There you go. I got a couple here. Yeah? What do you think? Here we go. Yeah, it tastes like a shell. Is it, it tastes uh, like barbecue. Does it taste like barbecue? I don't know. Try it has a weird texture. Okay, we got some of these mealworms. It has a weird texture to it. It's kind of dryish. Mm. Oh my god, you guys are actually eating them. You, you don't have to. That tastes good. It yeah. Good. I like yeah. it. It tastes like potato mm. chips, kind of. Those. Has the it, t- same it, t- it tastes like the. It tastes like a shell. It doesn't really yeah. taste like. It's like else to whatever it. was in them is oh, kind of big. It has a weird texture to it. It's kind of dryish. Mm. Oh my god, you guys are actually eating them. You, you don't have to. That tastes good. Yeah. yeah. Baked out. I kind of like that. Mealworms. Yeah. Pretty good. So next time I feed my fish, we'll dine together. <laughs> you want to try some, some cookies that were made with with, with ants in them? See? Uh, ant candy. So with with real 
Farm ants, chocolate flavored. Chocolate, huh? Yeah. And I, Chocolate's good for you, too. Yeah, I'm going to open up these crickets here, too. Okay. Go check out our show, the, uh, what was that one on? The Interesting Facts. And, uh, chocolate's actually good for you. Yeah. And now, Exercise equipment is dangerous. And now, chocolate-covered ants has to be better because we're saving the environment and chocolate's good for you. Okay, so you want to take a cookie? Yeah. So there's ants in this little cookie. I see one. <laughs> I don't taste any ants. Mm. I taste the crunching. There was a crunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The difference between it is, is that it's being, it's kind of like when you have to give a dog a pill and you put it into a bologna and you get it to them and they scarf it down, they don't realize it's in there. That's what's happening right now. That's good. I, that was a good cookie. Mm -hmm. All right. So here is a little package of crickets. That's a real aftertaste. And that could be just because it's a not a very good cookie. Mm. Not because of the ants. Mm. All right, so Where this do you one, get these? Mm. This was at the old Curiosity mm. Store. Mm -hmm. There's a skull right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Luckily, we have beer to chase this down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there was a skull. This is good. the mule worms weren't a big deal, but the cricket kind of just looks a little different. It actually so. looks. Oh, I, oh, I broke off its leg. Yeah. Oh. So here, here's a cricket. Oh, you guys. poor guy. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite this while I'm close to the mic. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. It's crunchy. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like, like a peanut shell. Stop my hand this one. That's what it reminds me of. Like a, if you put a, a when you eat the yeah. peanut shell. Yeah, yeah. Very, very salty. Yeah, it's salty. <clears throat> you must have hit it with a salt. Oh, but I like the mealworms. I like the I like the crickets too. Yeah. Oh, you. Pretty salty. That's very salty. But I'm gonna eat another one. one. There's enough there. We'll yeah. share. But this one's good. Mmm. You want one? <laughs> I like them. It didn't so there have you a go. in it. That was nice. We ate bugs on mixed in. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Bottoms up. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to taste that in my mouth. All right. That was good. Those ones I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind any of it. it Those ones good. are extremely salty. But th these are probably better for you. All right. Well, not for me. I know, no sodium here. No sodium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As we eat a whole bunch of salted peanuts later. All right, guys. That's fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Mixed In, and uh, be sure to get out there and and, and roast some bugs. Yeah, and enjoy you try life. Out yourself some bugs. Save the environment. <laughs> Save the planet. All right, guys. Go to bugs. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll see you next week. Later. <laughs> Where'd you get these from? It's all from the old curiosity shop. Mm. Yeah, that day that we all went down there. Oh, you picked them up? We, yeah, you. Yeah. We told showed Chris, and he's like. And so he diverted you away from Abby and I, and then... You, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Abby, you gotta try this. You, you wanna try good. some? Baked, you'd probably get a lot more protein, because you lose a lot of protein after you cook them. Yeah. Um, unlike meat, meat, you gain protein. I would have to cook them, though, I, I, at first, you know, until I got used to them, and then I would start, you know, slowly baking them a little actually, less I and think, a little less. I think know. I actually might would have preferred it uncooked. If it was a nice juicy mealworm and I ate it, I'd probably be like, mm, yes, yeah, I'll that, do that. That would be a, worth a try. Maybe we can arrange it. that and we can uh, come what are you up doing? <laughs> Catching that on film, so <laughs> later I'll actually get real ones and then you gotta eat it. <laughs> this is going on the internet. Well, it was fun talking about things that we didn't want to do, so <laughs> let's. So, well, how's that, man? We're gonna be surprised. Sneak yeah. I had them under here and everything. So, yeah, no, you feel like, well, wait a minute, like, what the fuck? Is this? We have lapel mics? What's going on? <laughs> we didn't need lapel mics, Chris. <laughs>